following short film has been created by four of our Year 13 C-Tech Performing Arts students. This short film is part of the Unit 33 original performance. Please note, this film is about male domestic violence, for which some viewers may find distressing. Viewing discretion is advised. First comes love. Then comes marriage. Then comes resentment. Ending in domestic violence. It looks a little different. It's coercive and not outright. There may not be shouting or exhausted cries, but it's happening. Surely that just means it's not as bad. How is that even possible? In the last year alone, at least 59 women in the UK have died after men claimed they were injured accidentally in consensual rough sex. That is what's possible. Men taking advantage of their privilege in quiet and even open spaces. They're not ashamed. It's not about the how. We know how. People get riled up after a crazy night out and do a little too much. What, like the man who was found guilty of raping an unknown woman just before midnight in her hometown? That's not a little too much. That is a complete lack of control. He gets what he wants when he wants it. No, but I told you it looks different. It's not necessarily random attacks and this animalistic desire to pursue without consent. Women can't afford that luxury. But what they can do is excuse their violence. Biologically, men are the stronger sex. And there it is. Only when they want to be. And what exactly is stronger? Man rapes and kicks his girlfriend days before she was driven to take her own life. I guess that's the opposite of strength. Fine men can be vulnerable, but there must be a line drawn somewhere. I just don't see any man taking that. They always want something in return. Man pressured partner into having sex with him, claiming she would do it in return for basic essentials. Prime example of something that could happen with the roles reversed. It just looks different. 2018 census on intimate and sexual crime in the UK. 20% of women compared to 4% of men in the UK had experienced some type of sexual assault or domestic abuse since the age of 16. The numbers just don't compare. But that 4% is 631,000 men mistreated and assaulted. It's not just men assaulting men either. Man pours boiling water over wife after she wakes him up with breakfast in bed. That's not typical male behaviour, it's just irrational. And anyone can be. Irrational, I mean. In the year ending March 2019, the majority of defendants in domestic abuse-related prosecutions were men, 92%, and the majority of victims were female, 75%. 16% of victims were male, and the 10% of cases left, well, the sex of the victim was not even recorded. Yes, it just looks different. These numbers are not fabrications. They represent real people. With real and valid stories. It builds from trust, shrouded with lies, like, it's because I love you so much. I'm doing this for us. But what if that's just how they like it? Rough. Oh yeah, a little crazy with a touch of bipolar, but not too much, you know. There's a difference between feisty and violent. Where is the line between bad and not bad? When does it become abuse and not experimenting with pain or being a little eccentric? It's hurting. Trend spirals on Tumblr after girl shares controversial photo of boyfriend's heavily scratched back, stating, We gave in this time. I thought they could leave easily, but men stay for their children. 89%. Some consider marriages for life. 81%. Love. 71%. 
fear of never seeing their children again. 68%. A belief she would change. 56%. Lack of money or nowhere to go. 52%. Us guns off. Embarrassment. 52%. Then comes marriage. Threatened she would kill herself. 28%. Then comes resentment, which leads to domestic violence. And a fear she will kill him. 54%. What about me? He is not the abuser. He is not the abuser. He is not the abuser. He He is is the abused. abused.